Are we truly alone in this vast universe? What if there are aliens out there actively searching for us, just as we are searching for them? Welcome to the Universe Revealed. Every time scientists think life cannot exist beyond a line of possibility, life shows them it can. From discovering a species of fish thriving in the unimaginable pressures of the Mariana Trench, which is 8,000 meters below the surface of the ocean, to growing a delicate flower in the emptiness of space aboard the International Space Station. Life has always defied limitations. And so, just because we haven't come across any alien species yet, we cannot conclude they do not exist. You never know. What if we are already being watched by an extremely advanced civilization? Okay, that's scary. In this video, we will dig deeper into the search for extraterrestrial life with the Fermi Paradox. What is the Fermi Paradox and why is it important? Let's understand. The Fermi Paradox deals with the perplexing question as to why we haven't encountered extraterrestrial life yet. This paradox is addressed in two aspects. The first aspect of the Fermi Paradox talks about the giant scale of the universe. It focuses on the large numbers involved. Don't worry, we'll break it down for you. The Milky Way galaxy is home to approximately 200 to 400 billion stars, and every star has a planetary system of its own. Our solar system is 4.5 billion years old. It is a newborn compared to the ancient universe, which dates back 13.8 billion years. Now with numbers that big, the probability of an alien existence somewhere in the universe becomes quite high and pretty obvious, right? Even if life occurred on a fraction of these planets, the number of existing civilizations could be mind-boggling. If the percentage was higher, the Milky Way alone could be teeming with crazy numbers of thriving civilizations. Then why haven't we found any signs of intelligent life beyond Earth? Now, yep, that's the Fermi Paradox for you. If we move beyond the Milky Way and consider the entire expanse of other galaxies as well, we might have a decent explanation. The huge distances between galaxies might explain the absence of alien visits to Earth. But wait, that still didn't answer the question. Even vast distances cannot completely hide the traces of extraterrestrial evidence or some signs of an advanced civilization. A civilization as advanced as humans can easily be observed across a substantial fraction of the observable universe. And even if such civilizations do exist and are rare, the scale argument suggests that these civilizations should have existed at least somewhere in the depths of space at some point in time in the history of the universe. And here's where the mystery lies. Humans can uncover many potential sites of their origin because they can be detected from far away. These sites are within the range of human exploration. But all we have seen so far is silence and emptiness. The question that lingers here is whether this paradox is stronger for our own Milky Way galaxy or the entire universe. That's a thought that's going to keep you pondering for a long time. With so many planets existing in the universe, it is practically impossible that life didn't get sufficient chances to thrive and develop into intelligent beings. Consider this fascinating notion. If we give it enough time, interstellar travel could be well within our reach. And so one might wonder, if aliens exist, why is it that they haven't graced our planet with their presence yet? Why is it that aliens have never visited Earth? This is where the second aspect of the Fermi Paradox comes into picture. The Fermi Paradox raises an interesting argument about the probability of intelligent life in our universe. Think about it. With the ability to overcome scarcity and the natural inclination to explore new habitats, it's quite likely that some civilizations would become technologically advanced and venture into space to find new resources. They might even colonize their own star system and the ones nearby. Then why haven't we found any traces of aliens or their technology on Earth? And not just Earth. Their traces are nowhere to be found in our entire solar system. Yeah, we get it. That's a mind-bending question. If we consider the possibility of interstellar travel, even in its slow form, it would take us a mere 5 to 50 million years to colonize the entire galaxy. That might seem like an incredibly long time, but in the grand scale of the universe, it's literally nothing. Forget about the timeline of the universe or the cosmological scale. In the timeline of the geological scale itself, a span of 50 to 50 million years is just a blink of an eye. Wow, such massive timescales these are. Our existence doesn't even count here. Anyways, let's come back to the Fermi Paradox. There are numerous stars in our galaxy that are older than our sun. This makes you wonder if there is intelligent life out there somewhere else in the galaxy that evolved earlier than Earth. And yet, another question comes ahead of us. Why hasn't the Milky Way galaxy been colonized yet? Well, maybe colonization is not practical or even desirable for alien civilizations. But if we are exploring the galaxy on a large scale using probes, there are high chances 
they did it too. These aliens might have left behind some signs of their existence or artifacts in our solar system like old probes or signs of mining activity, but as always, none of these have been found so far. So despite the huge scale of the universe and the seemingly high probability of intelligent life flourishing elsewhere, we are devoid of any concrete evidence of alien existence. Scientists have been trying to untangle this web of cosmic mystery called the Fermi Paradox for decades now. But why is this paradox named the Fermi Paradox? Here you go. It all started during a casual lunchtime chat back in 1950. Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, who is also a Nobel Prize winner, was having a casual conversation with fellow physicists Edward Teller, Herbert York, and Emil Konopinski. While on their way to lunch, they were chatting about some recent UFO reports, if traveling faster than light was possible, and much more. Their conversation kept swaying to different space and astronomy topics when Fermi suddenly exclaimed, But where is everyone? Fermi suggested that a civilization equipped with just a moderate level of rocket technology and a strong desire for empirical power could effortlessly spread their influence across the Milky Way galaxy. In just a matter of tens of millions of years, every single star system could fall under their dominion. And while this might seem like a lengthy endeavor, in reality it's a relatively short period when compared to the age of our galaxy, which is roughly a thousand times older. Fermi passed away in 1954, leaving the task of exploring and solving this paradox to others. And then came Michael Hart, an American astrophysicist who went deep into Fermi's thought process. He penned an article called An Explanation for the Absence of Extraterrestrials on Earth in the Royal Astronomical Society Quarterly Journal in 1975. Many believe that this groundbreaking paper was the first to probe the Fermi paradox. Fast forward a few decades, and the implications of Fermi's words continue to baffle astrobiologists and scientists around the world. We observe that no intelligent beings from outer space are now present on Earth, Hart wrote in the paper's abstract. Hart's argument says that intelligent alien species may have already visited our planet at some point unless their journey began within the last two million years. So why haven't we noticed any signs of these visits? According to Hart, the most probable explanation is simply the absence of aliens. But before you get disheartened, we have something for you. Hart also outlined four other potential explanations for the Fermi Paradox. The first one is that there is a physical challenge that makes space travel almost impossible for aliens. This difficulty could be connected to the fields of astronomy, biology, or engineering. The second explanation says that aliens simply chose not to visit Earth. The third suggests the fact that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations emerged on other planets way too recently, which is the reason why aliens haven't reached us yet. The fourth and last one states that aliens might have visited Earth in the past. It's just that we couldn't observe them and couldn't even find any evidence related to them. So what exactly is the overall conclusion of the Fermi Paradox? Do we have an answer yet or not? Well, this is a difficult question to answer. We can say that though the Fermi Paradox hasn't been solved yet, we are definitely much closer to an answer than we were at the beginning. The first part of the Fermi Paradox, which talks about the existence of many suitable planets, was initially considered Fermi's assumption, but later it was proven true with the discovery of exoplanets. In fact, current models suggest that there could be billions of habitable worlds in the Milky Way alone. The second part of the paradox, which talks about the absence of evidence for extraterrestrial life, is also being actively researched by scientists. They have dedicated their efforts to searching for any signs of life, as well as specifically focusing on intelligent life. These quests have been ongoing since 1960 and still continue. All we know is that the possibilities to consider when it comes to the existence of intelligent life are endless. Aliens might not be as common as we may think or maybe our assumptions about the development and behavior of alien species are flawed. Or, perhaps most intriguingly, our current scientific understanding of the universe is far from complete.